If you've ever played Rust, you will know that the map is divided into a number of different grids to help you navigate and describe certain locations easier. Well, what if a solo player could claim an entire map grid to themselves? It would be a grind, especially on an official vanilla server, but it would be possible to wall in an entire grid with high external stone walls and claim an entire grid to yourself. So, that's exactly what I did. Before we get into it though, almost 91% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, which is crazy. So, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, it helps a bunch, and if you've already subscribed because you're a legend, go and click the like button to help this video reach a new audience. But before we get into it, I want to show you a little known game called Raid Shadow Legends, a mobile game with PvP battles that you can fight across the globe, along with huge PvE boss battles as well. Choose from more than 600 champions, with my favourite faction being the Dark Elves, a cult of elves that was tempted away from the light by Siroth with art and philosophy hundreds of years ago. Now the High Elves and Dark Elves have not managed to mend their relationship, and the war between the two groups continues. My personal favourite Dark Elf champion has got to be Rule the Hunt Master, just because of how badass they look. What I love most about Raid is the endless possibilities and hundreds of champions to choose from in a variety of different factions, including the Dark Elves. There is always something new to explore, and the game is forever evolving. If you haven't already, this is definitely the best time to get involved in Raid. And if you click the link in the description or scan the QR code which is on the screen right now, you'll get some unique bonuses worth $30, including a free Epic Champion, 200k Silver, 1 Energy Refill and 1 XP Boost, and 1 Ancient Shard. So you can summon some awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. All of this treasure will be right here for you to access. Thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. I'm going to be trying, keyword trying, to wall in an entire grid with stone walls. That means I have to get a flat spot, which means I need to get a water position. And that's going to be really hard to do because, you know, the big groups love their water. I had already predetermined a grid on the map that I had planned to wall in. It was the perfect spot, next to the snow, but just out of the cold, near a gas station for an easy green card, and between power plant and the arctic base for train tunnels entrances as well as good components. I had to make sure I claimed this spot, otherwise my chances of being successful with this mission would be very slim. While I make my way over to the position that I want to build though, I just wanted to let you guys know that I do weekly rust skin giveaways for free in my discord, so be sure to click the link in the description to get involved in those. Alright, I'm going to start farming, I'm like probably three quarters of the way there, not, not quite, but... You can see that's the water down there where I'm building. Right next to power plant, there's a gas station in there as well. Plenty of roads right on the edge of the snow. Plenty of nodes. Trees, pretty good. You can see right there. Right there. I need 30 cloth and I can get a bag down and I'll feel a little bit better. Come on. Bag down. Right there in the waters where I'm building. I'm going to try and wall off this entire grid here. It's basically like from the, the water there. It's all the way across. There's a guy right here. I need to get like two more trees and I can build. Two trees. No! Please, bro. Please, please, please! I was just ready. I was just finished, dude. No, they're going to build there. This was devastating. Being so close to securing the spot and then dying was the worst possible outcome. I was certain that the position was going to be stolen from me, being that it was such an ideal location to build. And the group that had just killed me now definitely had the materials to lock down the area. I'm not one to just roll over and admit defeat though. I would take this spot eventually. For now though, I decided I would build a little bit further down the coast and build up some materials before eventually deciding my plan of attack. Like literally 10 seconds was the difference there. No, they're building in the water right where I want to build. That's exactly where I want to build. Uh, I'm going to build. I can't see anything, so I'm not going to build anything at the moment. I also don't have any nodes. That's fucking annoying. No! 
No. Dude, I don't know where to... I was going to build down there. Somewhere let me up, please. No, dude, I got no bandies. 30 cloth. I need nodes out here and I need to run up and build. I got enough stone, enough wood. I can I can build right now. I can build right now. I just need to get the spot. Having established my starter base, I headed for the power plant to begin building up scrap and components. I already had most of the blueprints on this server, which was going to help a lot with my rate of progression. Looted. Okay, interesting. Fucking hazmat suit, dude. Man shat himself. He literally paused. You got a bear. That's good. No, there's a guy there. I don't want to fight right now. I've got no health, really. I can't even craft bandages. Fuck! That's the guys, I think. No! To recover from this, I ran to an area on the outskirts of the map where I assumed there'd be less people. There's like no barrels on this road, dude. Where are all the barrels? There's gotta be more than one. There's no, there's never only one, dude. That's fucking bullshit, isn't it? Oh. Go dogs! Now, this death here is important for two reasons. The first being that it illustrates the beginning of what would become one of the worst starts to a wipe that I've had in a long time. But more importantly, the group who had killed me were definitely going to be involved in this story later on, and not for the reason you think. Go dogs! Yo dogs! Yo dogs! Wait. How you going, brother? This guy's just farming me now. It's the same guy. All I'm saying is we're pretty well acquainted with this group already. So remember this name, Cammy. After a few more deaths, I managed to get back on my feet and killed a couple of bears in order to be able to craft some low grade and get some furnaces cooking. Then I noticed something that was a bit of a long shot but could pay off massively if I was able to pull it off. All right, let's go try and recycle this. I don't think I'll be successful here, but it would be amazing if I could be. I can go cargo with a compound bow. Fuck, should I go cargo with a compound bow? Is that boat even still there? It is. Bro, I could get to cargo first. Dude, I'm going cargo with a compound bow. I'm actually going for cargo with a compound bow right now. This is so dumb and it's not gonna come off, but I got nothing to lose. We should be first there. I watched it spawn. And not a lot of people have boats ready. This is the first cargo of the wipe. This is not going to work.
Give me med pen, give me med pen, give me med pen. Okay, that's two crates. Wind turbine? Bro. It's my last bandage. Give me med pen. Oh no. I don't know what to do here. If I can clear that front one, then I can get a crate, I think. Oh, I, g I give up on this fucking guy, dude. <gasps> you could have given me an MP5 or something, dude. Okay, I'm gonna go down below. I think I can clear out down below, although my, my compound bow is kind of broken. I just need to leg it through here. Okay, it's fine. No, 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 no. If I can clear this guy, I think I can get all three crates. As long as the timer doesn't go out. I pushed! I pushed, bro! Why did I push? Ah, I'm an idiot, dude. I'm actually stupid. Fuck! Me being me, I threw away a golden opportunity to get some high tier loot by simply being too impatient. I began farming components again and came across a base that was almost certainly going to be an issue. Oh, that's a base and a half. Holy shit. I'll tell you what, for the start of wipe, these guys, along with Cammy's group, would contest power plant for the majority of the wipe. The power plant happened to be the main monument that the Chinook crate was landing at for this wipe, which might sound like a good thing, but unfortunately for me, it meant that some large groups were in the area ready to contest it every time. I still didn't know where Cammy's group lived, but I did want to check the progress of the base that had stolen the position I wanted to build in originally. So I headed down the coast to have a look. That's the base. And I think that's going to be their main, maybe further along. The base standing between me and what I wanted to do. This is decaying as well? Oh, bro. Oh, I see. Huge base right here, dude. I'm literally between two massive bases then. Both contesting power plant. This is raidable, I think. Uh oh. This was the group that Cammy was with. They had a reasonable sized base and at least four members. The worst part though, was that they lived right next to the grid that I planned to wall in. I may have gotten one of their external gate codes, but this wouldn't end up impacting them too much. If I was gonna get the spot that I wanted, I was almost certainly gonna have to raid them. Before that though, I did a bit more scrap farming in the power plant and managed to get enough scrap for a level two workbench. Already having blueprints, this meant that I was now able to arm myself with a Thompson. I did a little bit of farming for stone and wood, then decided I would go and place down the start of what would be my main base in the middle of the water, with no plans of expanding this until I raided Cammy's group up the hill. Right here. This is just a, uh, a temporary base because we're eventually going to raid those guys up the hill from this base. Once this was done, I kept myself for a little bit and continued farming scrap, including doing a run down to the train tunnels and clearing out a few stations. It was getting towards the end of the night, and I still wanted to try and raid Cammy's group before my day was over, so I headed over naked to try and figure out what the best way to raid them would be. These guys have wind turbines set up. I'm going to go through fucking turrets, bro. Dude, I wonder if this door is still mine. Oh! Hello. Hey. How you going, dudes? I'm the guy that stole this door earlier. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just had to do it, bro. Wait, is that you, Yixom? 
Is wait. That you, Yaxom? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, Yaxom, yeah, Dokum, it's, it's going, brother. It's, it's us, dog. From last what? Wait, what? Yo, it's the dude, boys! The no way, dude! Yeah. Oh my fuck god! Alright, alright, you guys... Wait, <laughs> wait, add me to a call right now. I need to talk to you, I need to talk to you. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was gonna offline you tonight. What the fuck? That's Did fucked up. Okay, okay, hear me out. Will you boys be friendly with me if I build a base in the water right there? Yeah, all good. Yeah, yeah. do it, do it. Yeah, Go for it. My thing for this wipe is I'm going to wall in an entire grid. So see J6? Bro, what? I'm going to wall in the entire of J6, okay? But I need to build in the middle of it in the water. Fuck yeah. Are you boys fine with that? Yeah, you do. No, yeah, mate, we got you. Can I join your team or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I got hey, you. For a bit of context, these just happen to be the same guys that I teamed up with in my raiding with my enemies video. It definitely pays to make friends in this game, that's for sure. Now, no longer would I be needing to raid them tonight, so I turned my attention to building up my base. First, I did a train tunnels run to the outpost and bought a jackhammer. Then, I went full farm bot. I finished my inner compounded base, then got off for the night, preparing for another day of grinding tomorrow to try and wall in the entire grid that surrounded my base. Let's get the fuck home. Bro! I had just died with an inventory full of farm, and I wasn't happy about it to say the least. The guys who had killed me for it lived pretty close in a 2x2. Two two. However, being three of them, there wasn't much I could really do to fight back. So I forgot about them. For now. I didn't have any SMG bodies left, so I had to resort to a python. However, because I had pretty much all the blueprints I needed and already had a level 3 workbench, I didn't need the scrap for much else. I decided that I would farm my way through the train tunnels to the bandit camp and try and buy myself a mini copter, which could help me traverse the map much more safely. It looks clear, which is not good. Let's just go, let's just go. The one time Chinook actually gets an accurate shot off.
I'm about to be able to prove that I can fly. Because I crashed it in that video when I hadn't practiced before. And now I can prove it. I can prove that I can fly a heli. I thought I was going to hit that pole. Now, the worst part of my flying is the landing. <laughs> I need to make a garage for that before I fucking lose it. I had the idea that with the minicopter, I might be able to use the large excavator that was across the map to farm up the high external walls that I was going to need. So I headed for the top of dome and then to the oil rig to try and get some diesel fuel. So, yeah. The minicopter lasted about as long as you'd expect with me. And that pretty much meant that using the large excavator was off the cards for now. Instead, I grabbed a chainsaw and headed up to near my allies base to farm some wood. And they were kind enough to offer me something that was going to make farming a lot easier. Yo, Yicks. Yes. Yikes! Yes! Take this. I'm full you. now. Yeah, take this wood. Wait, did he just eat- wait, what? Did he just eat the pure ore tea? The horse just ate it, bro! What? The horse just ate the tea! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the horse oh, just no, ate no. the- I'll be dude. back. I'll be back. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> the horse just ate the pure wood tea. Wait, no, 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 no
I didn't even want to try and grub the raid and rather just spectated it because I didn't want to piss the group off and be their next victim. They got all of the good loot, but not the TC. However, my mates weren't planning on rebuilding, so the base was left to rot. This delay meant that I didn't have enough time in the night to finish the external walls, so I planned to finish it first thing the next morning. But at 6am, I got a Rust Plus notification, which I was really hoping I wouldn't wake up to. Yep, I'd been offline. And not by who you'd think. Turns out the guys who raided my mates knew who I was and actually helped me get back on my feet at the start of the next day. The group who had raided me was a massive group who lived out in the depths of the snow and there was absolutely no chance I was going to be able to get my revenge on them. I got a kit from the arctic base guys and then began working towards taking back my base. I was going to get these walls finished if it was the last thing I did. Oh my god this is actually good. They blew doors. That's so good they blew doors dude. They would have broken TC though, so I need to break my external TCs to replace that one. The damages is actually not too bad. We can make it work. Oh no. That wasn't very nice. Sorry, man. I just got offline, bro. Now I'm trying to restart. Come on. Can you pick me up, police, please? Bro, I'm slow you got raided, man. But I'm, I believe in you. You can build back better, man. Good can I have luck. the hatchet? Can I have the hatchet? Just the hatchet, bro. I want to just farm trees. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank yeah, you. Man. This was a new neighbor that had moved in between my base and the power plant. But we would get back to them soon. I farmed some sulfur, then got to work blowing out my external TCs to be able to place my main one back down. Usually, I'd be pretty against free handouts, but I was on a mission to finish these walls, so I was definitely happy when the Arctic group gave me a few more kits to help me re-establish myself. Enjoy! Good luck. Thank you. My level 2 and 3 workbenches were both destroyed when the base got raided, so I turned my attention to farming some scrap in order to get back to a level 3. I did a train tunnels run, which gave me enough for a level 2, then I headed towards the power plant to try and get the rest I needed for a level 3. I may have lost this fight, but I now had a pretty solid raid target. A bit of fortune was about to go my way though, when one of my allies messaged me the codes to their raided base, which still had a level 3 workbench that I could take, as well as a few guns. I also grabbed all of the garage doors that I needed, so now all I needed to focus on was finishing the walls. How beautiful! The exact amount crafted! It's done, dude. It's done. Oh my goodness. Let's go up the hill. Let's go up the hill. Look at that shit, man. <laughs> Look at that shit. That's a whole grid. That's the size of... It's, it's kind of cool that you can visualize the grid size. Now that the walls were finally finished, I headed to the power plant to try and take the train to Bandit Camp so I could get a new minicopter. However, before I could get down to the station, someone beat me to it. It's 
one more. Oh wow, it's five men. Med situation's not ideal. One dead. P5 is going to break. I'm going to get shot from behind. I know it. Dead. I need his meds. I need his meds, dude. No! Are you kidding me, bro? Are you actually kidding? You're taking the piss, bro. Oh my god, you're taking the piss. After losing the however many V1 because of some random crossbow kid, I managed to do the original plan of getting a minicopter from the bandit camp. Then I began preparing for the raid that I wanted to do. By the time I had finished farming, the group that I planned on raiding had gotten offline, which was unfortunate, but I'd continue the raid anyway. I crafted up some rockets and explosive ammo, then threw down a small raid base, then got to work blowing through the doors. Shit, armored. It's gonna be a bunker. This is TC. That's so, that's actually so annoying. Bro. I should have seen that one coming. I'm not usually one to give up, especially on an offline raid. However, it was getting very late by this point, and I was still going to need a bunch more rockets to get through this base. After having two of my rockets just disappear into dust, my motivation to complete the raid was at a low. Defeated, I sealed my bunker and hopped off for the night, hoping to avenge myself tomorrow by actually completing this raid. Up until this point in the wipe, it was pretty safe to say that I hadn't had the greatest PvP. So that's what I focused on doing on day four, trying to have some fun, then ideally taking down the attack helicopter in my grid towards the end of the day. I started with an Arctic research base run to try and draw some attention to myself.
The recycle is here, isn't it? Yes. Doesn't have to be like this, bro. Please, I'm just a humble solo. For the rest of the day, not a whole lot happened. I did a couple more PvP runs, but you know how it is. Being outnumbered every time. I decided to just wait for the attack helicopter to try and take it down in my area. And after a bit of waiting, we got what we wanted. This is it. This is what I wanted to do. Okay, I really want to drop it inside the grid. That's kind of the entire point. So I'm going to be patient, try and get it in, in the grid. In, 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 in. Damn it, it just out, just outside, just outside. Oh no. Should have gone out instantly though, I think. Oh my god, that naked literally could have looted these crates. What the hell was he doing? Okay. Bro, where's the crates? There's one. Okay. Oh my god. Give me this last one, please. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is, but I'm depoting this. I'll find the last one in a second. There it is. Oh my god, three rocket C4, one M249. That is an insane heli. Dude, no way. The M2 fell through the floor. Bro! Are you kidding me? It's gone. It's actually gone. As annoying as it was that I lost the M2, it didn't particularly matter to me that much as I wasn't really planning on staying on for much longer. I did get a bunch of rockets in C4 though, so you best believe I headed straight over to that base to work out how I was going to redeem myself. What the fuck? Too close to power plant, bro. What? How is that base there then? Oh my god! I mean, the delivery of a couple inventories worth of stone would have been nice before I farmed about a hundred high external walls on my own, but I'll take the PvP, I guess. Now, let's get back to that base. Oh, jeez, I've actually got a bit. I've actually got a bit of stuff that I'm never going to use. <laughs> Comps, dude. A quick, successful raid. 
Definitely profit, but that's not really why I was doing it. I moved all this loot back to my base, then raided the 2x2 two two that was near my base that the three men who had killed me a couple times earlier in the wipe had lived in. I didn't expect much from this, and I didn't get much from this, but it was nice to tie up the loose ends. Then, that was it. I was done for the wipe. There was enough upkeep in the walls to last the rest of the wipe, but the base would decay, leaving the walls as a reminder of what was once one of the most grindy solo wipes I've ever done.